Hi viewers, welcome to another video. In the last video, we discussed about how to import Excel files into a Java table, J table. In this video, we will discuss about how to upload those imported Excel files into MySQL database. So this is our J frames. So basically here we have a text box, import button and a J table and a save button. In the last video we learned about when we click on the import button it will pop up a J file chooser and it will allow us to import one Excel file and those imported Excel file will be visible on this J table. So we have five columns, line number, item name, description, service duration and quantity. Okay. Now after imported the files into J table, when we click on the save button, these values in the J table should be uploaded into our MySQL database. To do so, uh, the action should be performed when we click on the save button. So let's go to button click, double click here. So here uh, it mentioned first we have taken one uh, J table model, the same table which uh, same table variable is used. Then the remaining things is this much is for the database connection query. Then we use the for loop to get the values from the table for integer i is equal to 0 i less than bulk model dot get raw count. This will help us to get the maximum number of rows in the excel file. So different excel files contain different numbers of rows. So suppose if we have 10 number of rows this loop will be i equal to 0, i less than 10 and i plus plus. Then inside we, we have 5 columns, line number, item name and description, service duration, quantity. So those columns we have each row, the values of each column by each row we have to will take in each iteration of the for loop and it will convert to string. Then we will insert into our uh, insert into table name and these values normal insert query okay then values then comma separated our this variable okay then we will call bulk statement we will create one bulk statement then add we will create one statement, it's a normal statement, then add batch or query variable bulk query, okay. Then this one in the row, so inserted mark statement dot execute batch. So when this execute batch is performed, that as all the data will be uploaded into or my SQL database only if the connection is established properly. Okay. So now let's try, let's run this query. Let me sorry, let's run this J file. Let's import one Excel file. That is imported successfully. We have 59 rows. These values are just the dummy values. So I am clicking the save button. When it clicks, it should be insert to our database. Okay, click save button. Now this is uh, I just uh, created a J option pane. Means database connection is established.
Now let's go to the output to see what happened. I go to our output. Ah, sorry. There is small mistake. This should happen from zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Previously I deleted from first row, so I didn't change. So it's okay. I will save. Let's run it again. Click import and choose the Excel file. Click open. This imported successfully. Now click the save button to save this JAR table into our uh, MySQL database. So click the save button. So you can see data inserted and row count is 59. Okay, so we have 59 number of rows. These are the miss values. So you can go and check the database. This is my database. Sorry. So see it's here. All values. the lane D9. Okay. I mentioned link in the description so you can copy the code from the below link okay hope this video is informative and thank you for being see you in next video